Hi, this is Michael Resigy with Humanities Romanticism module. And uh, it was very tough to choose one item from this module, uh, which is so many things, that, uh, especially some of the music pieces and the artwork spoke to me. So ultimately, I had to make a choice, and I chose John Constable's The Haywin. Uh, I love this piece. Uh, I, I grew up in rural Pennsylvania in Amish country farmland with a lot of horse-drawn carriages and uh, people worked in the farm fields uh, as well as my own grandfather had a dairy farm uh, and my parents still own a little 10-acre farmette with uh, the local farmer farms the, their fields for them and uh, it's very cool. So this painting, uh, as it points out in the text, shows the sun coming out with the storm just passing. Uh, it's so it's awesome. It shows the sun coming out and the the healing power, but also the destructive force of nature, because as you can see, there's water and a it's like a flood on the farmer's field there below him, uh, right in front of his house. So this does show the destructive power and also the healing power of nature, and the artist's fascination and love of nature. So I love how detailed and beautiful the trees are, uh, the, the the field and back is well laid out. The um, you know the the house wrapped around in all the trees, and uh, it's just a gorgeous painting. I think the storm clouds are done perfectly, uh, showing them passing through, and you can just picture that sun coming out and putting its rays there on the back field. And it's about to hit you in the face uh, as it as it arises. So I, I just I just really loved it. It is very peaceful, but you can also see the destructive power of nature in there as well. So it definitely shows romanticism in there. And then uh, flip that back around. As far as taking uh, the the video next to some nature, I chose my. 200 gallon saltwater aquarium here behind me uh, because this is my love of nature uh, even, I mean I did grow up and love nature growing up and as I traveled throughout the world in France uh, and Germany and, and Italy going through the countrysides I adored and took in all the nature and sights that I could see as I traveled Europe and I loved it there and so I come back here and I'm living, of course, by the ocean, which I love, and I try to keep this little piece of nature here in my house with me, uh, and I love to grow the live corals behind me. I'm sort of a little aqua farmer in a way, and a lot of the fish are sleeping, so there's not too many fish out right now because it's their bedtime, but, uh, you know, I love the, the different corals, as you can see. Everything's pretty much live back there and growing. So this is very peaceful for me at night to sit here and, and look at and admire. Uh, and it just also reminds me of uh, the destructive power of nature as well as the healing power. Because different things can get along and live in harmony together, like uh, clownfish and um, anemones um, that are in this tank. We have some rose bubble tip uh, anemones in here. You can see kind of one right up over... I can't get this right. <laughs> Where am I going? Right up over here. Right there is one. So, uh, the clownfish will swim in live in symbiotic relationship with it and they live off each other so that's the healing power as well as the destructive power which some of these things will definitely sting each other and kill each other and not live in harmony if you get them too close to each other so uh, it's you know definitely similar sort of romanticism going on right here in this little ecosystem well uh, I guess that's 
as much of the examples as I could give for just that one painting. Uh, I loved all of them, though. I enjoyed so much in this chapter, and uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of this peacefulness and ecosystem here. Okay, thanks. Have a good day.